Hi, I'm Chris Cardona, and welcome to Virgin Voyages Bimini Beach Club, and we'll be bringing you a tour around this amazing oasis coming up on Talking Cruise. And we're on the pier in Bimini, looking forward to going to the beach club. So when you get off the ship, if you're heading to the beach club, uh, you keep walking down the uh, pier and it'll take you to the uh, greeting area for the tram. Um, if you have a shore excursion though, it does seem like you can pick those up right at the uh, exit off the uh, gangway. Looks like they're doing some loading, unloading of supplies here. Let's just hope this uh, rain stays away today. And there's another shot of the uh, aft of Scarlet Lady. Really, really nice design. So when you make it to the welcome area here, they have these queues set up uh, for guests to take their tram. Uh, it's not too busy right now. It's uh, really just starting the process. And then those are the trams that'll take us to the beach club. Here comes the tram. Welcome aboard the Bimini Jitney. Make yourself comfortable. Once seated, please remain seated and keep your hands, feet, and tail in the jitney. As soon as we're moving, we'll tell you where we're going. Well, we got the official uh, Virgin the Voyages Bimini announcement. Bimini. Today, the jitney will make three stops. The Bimini Beach Club and Resorts World Bimini. Then back to the ship. The tram will run all day until the all aboard time. More info can be found in the app. All right, so we're leaving at 9.28 a.m. We'll see how long it takes us to get to the beach club. And the weather is starting to clear behind us, so that's coming in this way. There's a beach right here, close to the uh, welcome arrival area. This is actually my first time coming to Bimini. It has not really been a uh, major cruise ship uh, port, uh, but it is starting to change now, especially with the, the building of the new pier. Um, I've had family that have been coming here for decades, and it's uh, be nice to be able to actually say, yes, I've been there, and have a little bit of a discussion maybe about it. There's uh, lots of packages available from uh, South Florida through Resorts World Bimini and uh, they include stays here at this uh, Hilton Hotel. There's the uh, entrance to the Hilton at Resorts World Bimini. And another big draw here is the casino at Resorts World. So if you're not getting enough of that on the ship, you could always come here. Beach Club Experience, where barefoot luxury comes to life with sand between your toes, a cold drink in your hand, and the ocean as your soundtrack. Next stops, Resorts World Bimini and the Pier. So we are here already at the Beach Club with Bimini. And it's 9.33, so it took seven minutes from ship to the beach club. So welcome to the beach club at Bimini. This is Virgin Voyage's uh, private oasis uh, for guests on board their ships. And uh, first impression is it looks very much like the initial renderings that we saw years ago and we posted to the channel. Like I said, we've been reporting on Virgin Voyages for four years now and it's really great to actually see it up front and in person. So my plan today is to take you on a tour around the facility and uh, you can kind of see here right in the middle you've got that beautiful 
resort pool, actually two of them, split down the middle. So here's a map of uh, the Bimini Beach Club. So I think what we're going to do is take a circle uh, around the lagoon pool and uh, show you all the different like cabana areas and uh, places to eat and bars. And uh, then we'll have a look at the beach area as well. So at the uh, main entrance, there is this uh, welcome area here that does have its own bar. Of course, bars are never too far away when you're on a cruise. And uh, if you're looking for a little respite from the sun, this could be a good shaded place to be, especially later on in the day when we know it's gonna get sweltering here. All right, let's get on with our tour. So they have this wooden boardwalk, and we'll uh, just take this around. So there's uh, changing cabanas, the beach eats north, and restrooms this way. So let's go check it out. As you can see, there's plenty of uh, chairs. Uh, not that many umbrellas, but uh, maybe they can bring more in uh, as required. But uh, Lots of lounging space. I can imagine that this is going to be completely packed today as it has been on the uh, ship all week. So if you're looking for a little of quiet time, get off the ship as early as uh, you can uh, and start enjoying your day here. This is the uh, outdoor uh, sinks adjacent to the restrooms here at the beach club. And they also have these lockers available as well. They also have these hammocks here on the beach. This is actually the beach on the other side of the pool, not the main beach to the ocean. Um, so these cabanas can be rented uh, online or you can rent them on the ship. Uh, again, because I booked so last minute, all of the cabanas were uh, taken. Uh, prices are pretty reasonable, $350 gets you a beach cabana um, or one of the poolside cabanas, which uh, here's the back of those. I'll show you those in a moment. And that $350, though, does include a $100 bar tab. So you can use that uh, for any drinks here at the beach club. So that's, that's quite good. And over here, as we're going to make our way uh, around the other side of the pool, this is a beverage hut. So I'm guessing this is a bar, uh, which will be open a little bit later. I really like this, uh, this walkway here. Um, you just need to mind the uh, spaces between the boards if you're wearing flip-flops uh, just don't get your toe caught in there yeah, yeah. and they have the torches here uh, this is a full day into the evening uh, experience at uh, the Bimini Beach Club so uh, the ship will actually be here until around 10 p.m. this evening so if you want to come early like I have spend some time here at the Beach Club and then go back to the ship uh, refresh and then come back for some of the nighttime stuff, you can absolutely do that. The trams are complimentary and as I said, they run all day long. Here's another bar getting set up for a day of uh, busy beach drinking. All right, let's check out the, uh, the pools. Certainly large enough, uh, much larger than the one on the ship, that's for sure. Um, so unless your, your ship is completely at capacity, which we are only at about 50% of that, um, I don't see this pool getting too overrun. Uh, and again, there are two of these. So there's lots of seating around the edge here. They've got these uh, day beds. Uh, these are all complimentary. There's no extra cost for these. So if you get early, get yourself a prime space here uh, with an umbrella, if that's important to you. And uh, these are some more of the beach bungalows over here that, uh, as I mentioned, are available for rent. And uh, part of the vibe here is like on the ship, there is uh, gonna be a DJ here uh, throughout the day into the evening. So they will have like, a whole real cool party vibe going on uh, as we get further into the day. As they say, we're getting some of that liquid sunshine right now. It's just a little bit of a drizzle, not too bad. Uh, but you see what I go through just to bring you some amazing destinations and cruise ships. 
Uh, it's absolutely my pleasure. Somebody's got to do the dirty work and uh, I'm happy to do it. So this is the other pool. It looks to be about the same size, maybe a little bit shorter. Um, and this one seems to have a direct access to the bar area with some pretty cool chairs we'll see up here in a second. Check out these hanging, swinging chairs that are right over the edge of the pool. That's pretty cool. Right next to the bar, nice and convenient. It's nice that they've added this uh, sail fabric over some of the seating areas. Again, uh, just to cut back on some of the direct sun that you will be getting here throughout the day. It's, it's trying, it's definitely peeking through. And here's some more shots of those cool chairs. Uh, there is two, four, six of these, so uh, these will be at a premium later in the day. Maybe I should grab one right now. No, no chair hogging here at uh, Bimini Beach Club. There's also quite a few of these uh, in-water loungers. These are a little bit different than ones I've seen on uh, other ships and in other resorts. They're not like lay back, they're more sit up. Uh, perfect for drinking a beverage though in the pool. Just walk around the pool a little bit more. People are starting to slowly arrive. Uh, like I said, right now it is a quarter to 10 and uh, I suspect more around 11 o'clock we'll start to see this place fill up uh, once all the venues are open, the bars and the restaurants and such. So the two pools are separated by this little uh, bridge area here and that'll take you directly down to the beach. Which you can start to see the pop of that uh, nice deep blue water here in the Bahamas. check out some of the, the beach area here. Again, lots and lots and lots of chairs. Uh, they've got these little slingback wooden chairs here. Some areas where you can sit, perhaps maybe uh, enjoy some dining on the beach. Uh, these are the beach cabanas, as I mentioned earlier. And uh, let's take a little closer look at these. So they do provide a good amount of shade and uh, it looks like you do have a couple of loungers. Uh, I believe they give you water service in here and uh, there might be a call button in case uh, you need any uh, extra services. And as I said, for $350 and you get a $100 bar tab, that's I think a really good value and I believe they can go up to four or six people. The water is gorgeous here, as is the sand. And the boardwalk does extend down a little bit here onto the beach itself. I don't know if you can see that in the distance, but there's our cruise ship. So we're not too, too far. And quite a nice expanse of white sand here at the Bimini Beach Club. Here's some more of that Virgin Voyages whimsy. They have these cool swings that are set up right in the water itself. So. You know, they, they like that playful spirit at Virgin Voyages, and it's uh, apparent pretty much everywhere. So this is the other, um, this is probably the South Eats area, where you can uh, enjoy a nice lunch. Again, uh, I uh, definitely would like to partake in some of that, so before I head back to the ship, That'll be on my list uh, to enjoy and to share with you. Now, similar to on board where they have Richard's rooftop, which is exclusive to Rockstar guests. This is a VIP area here at uh, Bimini. So this is the Rockstar area here at the beach club at Bimini. So uh, it's nice. It does have this teak decking, much easier to walk on and uh, Look at this terrace out to the beach. That's beautiful. Some of these furnishings are reminding me a little bit of on board the ship. All right, this is a nice view from up here. And it's nice that they have this big pavilion set up with lots of shade. So 
uh, if you want to have your lunch here, you know, which of course you would, uh, what better place to uh, have it than uh, in here? And there's a bar uh, connected to it as well. And let's take a walk up here into the pavilion. Oh, I can already feel the difference in the shade. And they've got fans wisping around in here. This is a nice, uh, nice design. I like the exposed uh, wood here on the bottom. Good morning. And again, you're elevated, so look at that amazing view that you have out to the water. And there's really an upscale feel really at the entire Bimini Beach Club and certainly here at the VIP area. Um, it's really become uh, very popular right now for cruise lines to up the level uh, of the experiences at their private destinations. We've seen them with Royal Caribbean. Uh, Norwegian Cruise Line has done that at their private island. Um, and I know we're going to see even more in the future uh, also with MSC Cruises and Ocean Key. So uh, definitely you'll be seeing more and more of these uh, elevated uh, beach experiences from various cruise lines. Okay, I came back to the ship, um, did a reload of batteries and I'm ready to go back. And uh, lunch should be starting by the time I get there. And I uh, can't wait to show you that. And uh, spend the rest of the afternoon just chilling out at the Bimini Beach Club. So it is now 20 past 12 and the weather has gotten much better since I was here three hours or so ago earlier this morning. And you can definitely see it's busier, not slam crazy busy, but definitely busier. So let's go find that, uh, let's go find that lunch. So I can see people are eating already and that looks promising. So let's go, go check out what they have here. Okay, so the way they do the lunch here is uh, you line up, you uh, pick your selections from the menu, they will get those for you, they'll put them on a tray, and then you bring that to your table. And then there is a bar just off to the side here uh, with sodas, again, which are complimentary, and then you can also order uh, more interesting beverages if you want. So what I got here, this is the watermelon and jicama salad. Uh, chicken curry and then this is the roast pork which I'm going to still try to find a video of the actual cooking of that but uh, it all looks fantastic oh and for dessert this rum cake so just uh, finished lunch um, <clears throat> a little bit of a limited menu as far as choice uh, but the food is good it's tasty um, you know definitely I would say on par with other uh, cruise ship private destinations not anything really much better I would say but about the same um, I was kind of expecting maybe a little bit more elevated based on what we've experienced on the ship so far but this really isn't under their control as much this is really a licensing agreement that they have with Resorts World so I'm not sure just how much say Virgin has uh, in all the other aspects of the operation here but don't get me wrong it was good definitely uh, a nice uh, thing to have so close to the beach and to the pool here. So now my next uh, task is gonna be to try to find a chair with some sense of shade. Uh, it's probably gonna be not as easy as it was when I got here at nine o'clock this morning, but I will do my best. So I found the Holy Grail. There was one chair left, or two chairs under one umbrella. And as luck would have it, it is just steps away from the pool and the party pool at that. Well, the party has begun here at the Bimini Beach Club. So this is definitely the party pool. DJ started uh, doing his thing and uh, you can't just hear the music. You can definitely feel the music. Time to hit the bar.
really turned out to be a fantastic day weather-wise and uh, just the experience was fantastic. Well, say goodbye to Bimini Beach Club, but we will be back. Nighttime tour back to the uh, Bimini Beach Club. It's uh, around 10 to 8 o'clock. Just had a great meal at Gumbe. And I uh, just want to show you a little bit of the nighttime uh, activities here. So, uh, a little bit different from earlier in the day. This is the beach club at night. And it's just about 8 o'clock right now. Nicely lit up. Let's check out the bonfire on the beach. It's a lot nicer at nighttime. Glows from the inside out. Some really cool patterns in there. You can see the tentacles. See closely. Which is definitely a theme throughout Virgin Voyages. As we saw last night at the uh, Scarlet Night Party. If you're not sure if you'd want to come back at nighttime uh, or maybe possibly stay the whole day, I went back. Uh, this is actually my third time today coming back and forth, but uh, uh, it's nice to go back after, you know, an afternoon, refresh, take a shower, go have a nice dinner on board the ship, uh, and then come back here. You can have some cocktails, you sit near the bonfire, and uh, take a dip in the pool if that's what you want to do. I mean, the breeze right now is phenomenal, so uh, I would highly recommend, if you're on the fence about it, to uh, maybe give it a go. We're leaving the Bimini Beach Club for the last time this trip. I'm sure we'll be back again soon. Thanks for coming along on our tour of Virgin Voyages Bimini Beach Club. Don't forget to like this video, post your comments and questions, hit that notification bell, and subscribe for more Talking Cruise.